Hi, this is Alex from half Ass Reviews, and we're going to be taking a look at the iPad 3 today. There it is, I have it in the 16 gigabyte white model. It is Wi-Fi only. As you can see, there is no 3G antenna. Um, it is 1.44 pounds, or 652 grams. It is 9.4 millimeters thick which is, I believe, one or two millimeters thicker than the previous generation. And that has to do with the bigger battery. Um, so it can still provide the 10 hours of battery life that people have come to expect from it. Um, so let's give you the rundown. It's pretty typical. You have your 30 pin connectors right there. You have your nothing over here. You have your 3.5 millimeter headset jack your sleep button, your now there's included a five megapixel camera right there. You have power or um lock or mute, depends how you set it, the volume rocker, and then nothing on back. Alright, let's get into it. Um, so it, this generation has a retina display, um, and it's going to be a 2048 by 1536, which gives it a resolution of 264 pixels per inch or PPI. Um, and that makes the, the retina class, it, um, based on how far you hold it away from your, your, your face typically. Um, still 9.7 inches. It has a fingerprint resistant coating like all the other ones. Um, they've upgraded the chip to an A5X. It is still a dual core for the CPU, but for the graphics, now it's a quad core, which is the same as the PSP Vita. Um, I don't know if the, the clock speeds are the same or if they're higher. Um, um, they might need to be to put the the move all those pixels around that this this display has. Um, it has Wi-Fi A, B, G, and N, and it has Bluetooth 4.0 technology, the latest Bluetooth. Okay, so let's dive into the actual iPad. As you can see, this is this is the Retina screen. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an iPad 2 with me at the moment to compare it to, but if you have one, um, and I don't know if you can see in this video, but um, if you've ever been to Best Buy or Apple, you can see there's a difference. Say, so I guess you could compare it to the iPhone 4 to, to the 3GS. Really, that's kind of the difference. Um, it's almost identical uh, performance-wise, just on basic tasks, um, you know, very little lag. Um, Battery life has been about the same uh, to the iPad 2 from what I've noticed, maybe a little longer. Depends where you have your brightness setting to and such. Um, they doubled the battery. It's a 42.5 watt hour lithium battery. It can provide up to 10 hours of, be of almost you know anything, web, uh, video, music. Um, so, some of the other new features they've added is um, voice dictation, which is right here. So if I press and hold this, take me to Google. And it didn't take me to Google, but it, um, I don't know if you can see. It picked it up quite well. Now you could just search the web and voila. I and mean, you could use it anywhere that isn't a password, essentially, or a, a username. It'll allow you to speak your entries. Um, in this, the coming fall, their their um, iOS six is going to support Siri, so the, the the current generation iPad will have Siri on it. Um, so that will be that will be uh, pretty fun. Uh, I mean, I don't know how practical it is just yet. I mean, they're still upgrading it adding new features, tweaking it, so we'll see. Um, let's take a quick look at the camera. 
it is a 5 megapixel camera, the one that they, that they use in the iPhone 4S. It's just the 5 megapixel, not the 8 megapixel. Um, so image quality is very good. I think comparable to my Skyrocket Galaxy 2. Um, the, the autofocus works very well. You can just tap the autofocus or it will autofocus for you. It has face detection. Um, the front facing camera is still VGA. It shoots in 1080p video. Um, and it, it looks very nice. Um, I mean, I don't know how practical is the shooting on an iPad. I guess if you have a, um, I don't know, a, tr a tripod for it, like a mount for it, you could use it if you don't have an iPhone or a camera or whatnot. But for me, it's only good for really uh, video chatting, I think. Um, uh, here, let's take a look at some games, give you an idea of what the games look like now. Um, let's see, where are you? It's like, Infin like Infinity Blade 2. And you can probably see how fast it loads. Um, this game loads about half the time it does on the other iPad with this quad core graphics. Smooth. Need a health potion. Blah blah blah. Skip some of that. Let's go to the fighting. It's the best part of this game, right? Money, money, more money. All right, here's a baddie. Knight of Gold. You wore a big prize bill. 13 hours. Uh, I'll deal with that later. Okay. Excel pilot. Level 153. Let's take this jerk on. And I don't know how well this will work in the camera. We'll see. It's been a while since I played this game. As you can see, it works very well, uh, very smooth. Um, I mean, if I mean, the bottom line is if if you're coming from the iPad 2 to the iPad 3, the biggest differences you'll see are graphics and screen and camera. Those are the three big things, really. Everything else is very modest, I think. Um, if this is your first time buying. A tablet, and you're just you're deciding to say hey, the, the the Galaxy Nexus or Galaxy or Nexus Seven, sorry, or the iPad Three. Um, I mean, you just got to weigh your options, what you think you need. Either a smaller tablet that has a decent resolution screen, um, with a de um, a decent CPU and uh, graphics that will you know essentially have uh, be sort of future proofed, I guess you could say. Um, or a uh, a tablet, as you know, Apple they upgrade very <clears throat> very uh, in intervals, I guess you could say, um, very small increments. I guess they do testing, see how people like it, or they're doing it just for the money. I don't know. I mean, I I have a bunch of Apple products, and you know, I don't, really don't care. You know, it's so I'll just spend my money how I want it. <laughs> um, but uh, I. I would definitely recommend this to someone who wants to get a Apple product and they don't want to shell out a thousand dollars for a MacBook Air and they want something in between like an iPod, an iPhone, and a MacBook. I think this is a good device. Um, I bought this as a re instead of a laptop and it's worked out really well because you can hook up a Bluetooth keyboard um, and it suits my needs. You know, I don't need to carry around a big you know, a laptop bag or something. So yeah, that's uh, that's my review. If you if you like it, 
please um, subscribe and read it and if any comments um, would be nice constructive criticism is always welcome you know um, so yeah I will be seeing you guys later